everyone. As you can see, I've got a Disney bag in front of me. Uh, and the reason I have that is because I went back to Galaxy's Edge East or Batu East uh, for the first time since the pandemic. It was an experience. I'm not going to lie. Um, it was not what I remembered it. It was still a lot of fun. But if you've never been to Batu, I recommend waiting until after some of their social distancing requirements are lifted. Um, you know, it's the lines for some things were short. The lines for other things were really long. And before there were no lines. So for some of the things. So um, I just wanted to give that little precursor here, um, just so you guys know. Um, but uh, so what I was thinking about doing is I talk a little bit about what my experience was while I talk about um, my haul or the things that I bought from uh, Galaxy's Edge. One of the things that you'll notice is we do have a loath cat in the background there. Um, <laughs> it's actually for my wife. Um, but uh, we'll go ahead and do an unboxing of it in a, in a future video. Uh, it's super cool. Uh, one of the other things that I got was one of the new Spiras. Uh, so I thought we would quickly take a look at the new Spira versus the old. Uh, it does cost uh, basically five bucks to purchase, uh, whereas the old one was uh, just basically required $100. Uh, the, there we go. The old one did require a minimum of $100 put on it, um, but uh, it did not cost anything extra. Whereas the new one, minimum of 100 but it is the extra, I think, 495 or whatever. Um, but yeah, so that's what they look like. Um, they, I do like the fact that now I have several different colors of Spiras. Um, for those of you that don't know, the Spira is basically the... Um, the currency for Batu, uh, but all it is is just a Disney gift card. You can actually use it on uh, Disney, uh, like <clears throat> to order things uh, online if you want to as well. You can use it for cruise money whenever you can do cruises again. Uh, but uh, yeah, so that's what you can use them for. Um, I like them. Um, I've got a couple of the the old ones. I went ahead and picked up two of the new ones. Um, I don't think I'll pick up any more because that'll be enough for it. Uh, but one of the things that was interesting is uh, if you had gone on Etsy or any other uh, shop uh, for makers, they were actually selling their own Spiras. So, and it was costing more than $5 and some of them weren't as good of a quality as this. So that's why I'm giving Disney a pass on these guys here. So there you go. Um, I like them. Um, so maybe you would as well. It's kind of a nice souvenir since, uh, you know, probably one of the least expensive souvenirs you can get at, uh, Disney right now. <laughs> um, all right. So we'll leave that loath cat back there as long as we can. So since I got something for my wife, I went ahead and picked up, um, <clears throat> This for my daughter, she really likes Ahsoka. Uh, this is one of the toy makers, Ahsoka's. So that's why it's it looks the way that it does. It's kind of cool. Uh, I think it lists, for, yeah, it's twenty two ninety nine. Um, so you might be asking, why did you buy so much stuff when you get done with this? Well, right now Disney is doing 30% uh, off for annual pass holders. So it kind of works out. I'm not that upset with what I got. Um, now, one thing that is a problem is that uh, mobile, mobile order does not allow you, you to use your annual discount. So there's that. Um, for those, those of you guys that watch the channel, um, I was searching Target for uh, some, some of the new figures, especially like the Mountain Trooper. Well, look what I have in front of me. It's at Galaxy's Edge. And you get the 30%. Uh, so it's the normal price that you would pay at... Um, target but it, you get the 30 percent and i'll be doing an unboxing of this even though i've already unboxed him from the galaxy's edge pack Let's see what else do we have in here we have a, a red or hopefully a black 
uh, kyber crystal. Um, we'll be opening that up. Uh, if it is not a black one, uh, one of my friends uh, actually wanted it. So he wanted me to go ahead and program it to be something else, which I actually did a video on. So if you're interested in that sort of information, um, definitely take a look. I'll put that in the link description down below. Um, I'll open this guy up at the end of the video and hopefully we've got obsidian. All right. And I think, I think that's it. Uh, except for, did end up picking up some new masks. It's the new mask material. Um, it's the only size that I could get that had extra large. I don't know how much I'm gonna wear this. Um, the larges really didn't fit my face very well. But uh, the extra large hopefully will. Wow, that's that's a comfortable mask. Much better than the old masks. So I'm curious to see how these actually look um, on. Actually, um, so uh, I'll, I'll tell you guys at, at my next time that I go to Disney, uh, I'll be wearing the new one. So. And the other cool thing too, uh, Disney's doing 30% off masks, which they never did as well. So I will take that. <laughs> And what else do I have? Oh, um, so talking about rides, um, I did not actually end up riding Smuggler's Run. Uh, it continually had at least a 45-minute wait. Um, but I was able to get on to Rise of the Resistance. Uh, I got there right at 10 o'clock. I, I was hitting the button as fast as I could. I was a single rider. I got on. I was boarding group 48, uh, and I did not get on until almost 4 o'clock. Uh, it was probably a little after 4 o'clock. Uh, so uh, just be prepared. Rise goes down quite a bit. Um, and I did record the, the entire ride in 360, uh, which I'll be uh, pushing to the channel uh, probably this weekend or maybe next week. Uh, some of those 360 videos take a little bit of time to... Uh, to go through. So anyways, that's really it. Um, oh, I also did a walking video of Batu as well in 360. So you might find that interesting as well. And that'll also be on the channel. So let's go ahead and take a look. It's been a while since I've opened one of these. I can't remember what side opens. I hope it's, well, we'll just go ahead and do both sides and see what happens. Yeah, it has been a while. All right, we'll go ahead and take this off, and uh, I'll take off the plastic. I'll be right. All right, so it is the side that does not have the hook on it. We'll go ahead and... Oh, I already see it. Ugh. Oh, well. Like I said, a uh, friend actually wanted one of these, so I'll go ahead and program what he wanted, uh, and everybody works it. Lux out. Um, these are also 30% off, so I think they're about 12 bucks or something like that, so it's not bad. So that's that. Uh, so look forward to some of those videos. If you have any questions about Galaxy's Edge, Batu East, um, I'll be happy to answer them down below. Um, we've got lots of new videos that are going to be coming out because of the trip that I did today uh, to Batu East. So hopefully you enjoy uh, those future videos. Um, if there's something you want to see in those videos, ask down below today uh, or tomorrow as soon as you can. And I'll try to get that into those videos as well. So um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have questions, ask down below. And if you like Star Wars or Disney or Galaxy's Edge, please subscribe to the channel. We do lots of things that are Star Wars and Disney and Galaxy's Edge-ish material. Uh, but basically, we do a lot of things that a professional geek might be interested in. And I am a professional geek, and I like Star Wars. So uh, hopefully you do as well. And that's what we do on the channel, basically things that a professional geek might find interesting. So we also do other things as well, like home automation, electronics, that sort of thing as well. So with that, I ask you to subscribe to the channel and have a great day.